good morning we are so happy that you're here we daily vlog so if you like this video come back tomorrow peter's on helicopter watch there's two helicopters just like hovering over the lake behind me i don't know if you can see it or not is buckingham fountain which we will be returning to this afternoon to see it get turned on for the first time of the summer last year we were cursed and every time we tried to go see it there was a fence, there was something blocking it. There was, I don't know, we just never got around to seeing it. And I I just love the fountain. I don't know, it's one of those things that I just love about our city. You can see it better here. There's a stage. But first, we are going to go to an event with American Cancer Society to kick off a Chicago Marathon um, fundraising. Our link to our donation page will be in the description. Peter is fundraising with ACS part of Team Determination, and that just happened this week. Peter just signed up, so this was a last minute addition to our Saturday. We're so excited to see At our ACS right, turn right. family. We're a bit perkier now that the weather is nice, if I do say so myself. We are in the Roosevelt collection, which I don't even, I've been to like the Target here. Yeah. UI, UIC is not too close. I'm sorry. Not too far. <laughs> UIC is not too far away. Oh snap, there's a playground. Oh, we saw Star Wars here. At the You're stop right, side, we take did. Take a sharp left turn onto South Delano Court West. That's cool, two hours free parking with validation. Um, excuse me? He's asleep. He's asleep. James is asleep and he's missing out on the fountains and the beautiful foliage. Isn't it beautiful? As Sarah said, it was last minute that we signed up for the ACS. Um, I actually got one of the last three spots of like the 700 or so spots that ACS has for Chicago. For so, Team yes. and fundraising. Oh, Very excited. Missed out on Dopey. Yes. We are and I'm missing out on Chicago. Chicago. Yep. So I'm excited. And like now that we're in Chicago, like I got to I get to do a lot of the in like a lot of the things that ACS offers in person that we did virtually what two and a half years ago when we first did right. this. Because we for thought Chicago. we were gonna run it in twenty twenty. Yeah. Well that not we, but like we We as a family. Yeah. For team. And here we are, 150 West Roosevelt. Yeah, I see some determination flags out. Very exciting. He's doing great in there, um, but he's a one-year-old. He got a little restless, so it's nice that there's this park out here. You can get some energy out. Um, they're talking right now about different training groups because Peter's here now. He can do, you know, in-person training. So learning about that, and then we have the pit. the wood chips you can't pick it up he found the fountain he made his way all the way over here wow Yay! I got swag being given away <laughs> and we got picking up t-shirts and then we're out of here what a fun kickoff event a lot of great stories a lot of great staff I got a new primal singlet i'll put pick it in the bag later but i already actually you've seen this one before because i have it already in blue and red but this is a new shirt that i have not had before for determination got the logo and everything endurance series pretty cool 
And now we're gonna go to the car to go to Buckingham Fountain to see the fountain turned on. We parked on State Street. I wanted to show you guys the Harold Washington Library. It's so beautiful. And we turned. Wow. Wow. That's James's favorite word these days. Now we're on Ida B. Wells. So we gonna, what a relief. What a relief. We were gonna pick up food outside of um, okay. the event because we weren't sure if it was gonna be like the Chicago or the Shamrock Shuffle World's like just hot dogs and burgers. But the website says they have like food vendors and local vendors for local fare. So we were cutting it kind of close. We were also worried that we were gonna get here and it was already gonna be on because nothing on like the marketing had the time of the actual fountain turning on. It was just like this event. 12 to 3. But then Kamed tweeted us or? No, I commented on Facebook saying, does anybody know what time the actual ceremony is? Yeah. And Kamed, like two days later, commented that back and was like, that's who's the sponsor. Uh, the whole event's called Switch On Summer. They, they commented 2 p.m. So it's like 1.15 right now. So hopefully there's enough time. I mean, it's not a huge event. It's just around the fountain. There's some food and there's some, a band playing. Uh, hopefully we can get some food before two. And there's not really... I know there's a stage where there's going to be like a representative from combat to like turn it on, but like there's not, it's like World Showcase, like there's not a bad spot around it. Yay! We made it. gonna freak out. He really is. I still say this is all for her because this is all she's wanted to do for like 10 years. And also, we're watch like, the turn we are more like Christmas downtown people. Like last year, like we've explained, like we didn't really get to like hang out down here in the summer. I feel like we're seeing sculptures we've never seen before. Yeah. a little bit. All sorts of pens for different groups across the city. We got Harold's chicken, empanadas from Cafe Tola, and then select cut cheeseburger, barbecue sandwich, hot dog. We got a city kid eating empanadas, loving life. Just look at this. Just, just look at it. And soon, in 25 minutes, the fountain will be on. Break it, move, mama. All right, look at the beautiful lake. There's a nice cool breeze coming off to cool you off as the sun beats down. There's the switch on summer. Ah, just look at this. Skyline, there's nothing better than the skyline. Check it out, I bet he has a name, but here's the Comet like meter. Yeah, I think he's getting ready to go on stage in 10 minutes to flip that switch on and get this fountain going. Claire's taking a rest over there. Walking around with James. How you feeling? Well, I'm walking around with James, and they were giving out these Everything water pouches, switch on summer, and they have like water, water filling up stations. They let me fill up a water cup, and got two of them. Oh yeah! Chicago summers are just. I texted a picture, a video to Steve, my buddy from Tampa, and he was like, "Man, Chicago summers tough to beat," and it's true. It does get very humid and hot. And I know that might be silly for a lot of you who listen or watch that go to Orlando or Orlando base, but it does get very humid in Chicago. People don't realize it's such a, a silent hitter in the summer heat well. So like this this couple of weeks hopefully where it's like when the sun's out it's hot to enjoy but it's not unbearable and the breeze is cool coming off the lake because it takes the whole summer for the lake to warm up. Um, that it works in your in your favor. I was very happy to be out and about in my favorite city in the whole world. shrubs but right here the lake is the breeze off the lake I 
Right now, I would like to introduce Chicago's first lady. I need a big, welcoming round of applause. Let's hear it now, nice and loud, for Amy Eshelman, everybody. Let her hear it. But it's not really summer until our beautiful fountain is on. So we're going to do that today. And Lori and I couldn't be more excited. Let's switch on summer. The fountain is the most, one of the most identifiable landmarks in Chicago and one of the park district treasures that you're going to find when you visit 600 parks throughout the park district. James got a, a little restless waiting for them to turn on the fountain here. So we're running, we're walking. Woo! Five, four, three, Two, one, happy switch on summer! There it is! Let's get this party started! Huh? There's Sarah giving James gummy bears. You won't take it. And come on, Irene is playing. Yeah. They're playing fast. And we're gonna head back to the car. That was it. Like now, the fountain will run every day for like 12 hours. Yeah. With a big spout every 15 minutes. James is just a little too little for this stuff. Yeah. But soon. Soon, very soon. Beautiful, beautiful Buckingham fountain. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen this in Chicago, but as we're walking back to our car, we saw a lot of police and traffic, and we're like, what is this? There is a protest coming through. Here we go, so it is a Roe v. Wade march. A little unexpected peaceful protesting there that we support daily. Sarah even asked, was like, do you want to go walk, march with them? And I was like, you <laughs> are literally about to give birth at any moment. So we should probably not go marching around more than we already we have. Cheer. Yeah, we stopped, we cheered, showed our support. Um, but we got to get her back home. <laughs> Just a quick stop in for a slice of pizza or two. We're gonna eat in the back seat of the car again. Oh yeah, baby. Taking you for a quick walk before I try to put James down for a nap. Can you hear the birds? We are home and it is nap time. I'm gonna put him down. Um, Sarah's gonna edit and then we'll see where the night goes. We, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do some dishes or cleaning up after James goes down, if that we goes need, well. I think we just need to like, like what we've been talking about. Like, so con continue really the revamping. Feel. Good. We're gonna um, borrow Christina's steam mop. Yeah. Tomorrow. I'm excited about that. Yeah. I think we're gonna get one. I think we should still go for a walk or something later, just because it's absolutely gorgeous. But it is like 3 40, 4 o'clock. Hopefully, by the time James wakes up, it'll be like the later half of golden hour. He's gonna go to bed late. Yeah. But he just needs at least a little sleep. He snoozed earlier, but it was like. And we can say officially that, I mean, this this will probably go live after, but we're going to do a live stream tomorrow because we hit our first fundraising goal. So we, we raised over $250 so far, and we're, we're going to keep pushing it. We went, our goal is $1,750. Yeah, and we were so inspired to today to learn how much has already been raised with Team Determination. Over $400,000. $480,000 so far for the Chicago team. The vlog is up. Peter just left for his run. He did the dishes, cleaned the kitchen feels lovely. Um, I am going to make the meat 
for our favorite black bean burgers. I'll try and find the recipe I've used over the years. I'll try to link it below, but I've kind of just done it so many times and changed things and made it my own. So I will do my best to share step-by-step step how I make it. But the thing that takes the longest is prepping the ingredients that make up the meat, like cooking them, preparing them how they need to be. So I have to cook quinoa, bake potatoes, and um, grind down oats. I did a cup of quinoa. It's probably going to be too much. So again, I'll let you know when I actually make the meat, how much I use, but that is going. And then I'm gonna bake one big potato. The original recipe did call for sweet potato, but I just don't like sweet potatoes. And I've always done fine using just a russet potato. So I'm just gonna bake this honkin' potato at 450 per, for probably 40 minutes. So Jamesy actually woke up as I started to cook and the quinoa got totally burnt. Um, and I have like the vent going now in the kitchen, but I'm just gonna keep on cooking the potato. That's the thing that takes the longest anyways. So I'm going to just like postpone cooking for a little bit. Um, he did go back to sleep, so I didn't expect him to fall back asleep. So I think I'm just gonna like put something on Netflix and fold some laundry. I gave, I threw the, the distance to Sarah to say four or six miles and she said, just go for the six. So I'm about to turn around here, just past three miles. There's a lot of families out, a lot of people out and this gorgeous, gorgeous day. Sun's still up, a little after seven. We're coming up on seven, I think. <sighs> Look at that, beautiful. Guess who finally woke up at 8.15 p.m. from their nap? This kid's never, he might have to sleep with us tonight. This or something. I just, I cannot take waking him up. I just never. All right, let's try this again. I got round two of quinoa cooking. Baked potato is all set, ready to be mashed. And now I'm going to grind up a cup of oats. Um, not so it's like as fine as dust, but like a decent pulse just to get a nice breadcrumb like style oat um, to hold it all together. Okay, there are my oats. I'm gonna add in the potatoes and then you rinse and drain the black beans, pour it in. I put it on top of the um, potato and I'm gonna mash it to my heart's content. I probably could use a hand mixer, um, but I'm just gonna do it by hand. The moisture of the bean really helps get the potato um, like nice and blended with the oats, um, cause it's pretty dry at first. So I recommend adding the beans and then combining it together. All right, it's all mixed up. Oh, my timer's going off. And now I'm going to add in my onion. I did a full small onion, but if you have a like a normal size onion, I would probably just do half. And then I'm just not feeling up for the full shebang tonight. We bought jalapenos for these burgers. Usually I'd also dice up like a full jalapeno, um, but I can use these for something else. And I have a can of green chilies. So kind of similar flavor, not as much heat, um, but much easier because I'm not going to have to dice anything. So I'm going to add in the green chilies. The quinoa is done cooking. The key with the quinoa is to let it cool. So that's going to sit off to the side while I add in some spices. So I'm going to add in adobo seasoning, like a spoonful. I actually, this is the first time I've had this for the recipe. Usually I would use like chili powder. Um, so I'm excited for that addition. A good heap of garlic. If you have minced garlic, I would have preferred that, but I don't have any. So a good bit of garlic. Two palmfuls of cumin. I decided to add um, chili powder. So um, 
yeah, a good shake of chili powder on top as well. The adobo is pretty spicy, so I held back a bit. So I'm hoping that the chili powder just like continues, like brings good flavor. So I'm gonna mix this all up and then like probably just a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, and here's everything all mixed up. Even the quinoa is in there. I probably did about a cup. And it's kind of freaky how much it looks <laughs> like actual ground beef. So I'm gonna figure out, I might use like this flat top thing we have to do it like, like a grill-ish, but I don't wanna make a ton of dishes, but I think that it'll be our best bet. And what's nice is this will make a lot of burgers. So this is dinner for the next few nights. Alrighty, here they go. Gonna flip in a little bit. Um, it is nice to get them nice and crispy because it kind of holds it together. And I think I'm gonna top it with this like steak and meat carne asada seasoning just for like a little crisp flavor on the outside. And this kind of like brings it back to that like beef flavor. So um, yeah, that's the last little bit I'm gonna add to it. Here are our toppings. I cut up some tomatoes. I also have some tomatoes on the side for James because he loves tomatoes. So we have vegan mayo, the basil pesto, some barbecue sauce. And then we have leftover french fries that I'm gonna heat up in the air fryer. All right, here is the burger situation. I thought we had more fries, but that'll be all right. Abu, <laughs> Abu, to you and you and you. I'm also timing contractions tonight. They're not really strong. Like I can still talk and walk through them, but they're just frequent. And so if they change in intensity, then that's important to note. So I'm keeping track just like on a little stopwatch on my iPhone. Um, to just check how long they are in between. And I'm like, all of a sudden like really, warm again we're nearing the end this can mean absolutely nothing just gotta be proactive i gotta make this quick because i think my phone might die this is the closest thing to like pregnancy cravings we've had in a while it's 10 30. i'm walking to the jewel to get some bakery cookies for sarah but hey we're literally down to hours or days before this baby comes so plus i get to benefit from her Carnacy cravings. So if she says she wants cookies, that also means I get cookies and James gets cookies. So when she says she wants cookies, I say, I'll be right back. I'll go get them. This is what late night bakery cookies does between a mama and a baby. He was just doing a dance move because the cookie was so delicious. Look at this sweet puppy girl. You could lay back down. I just want to show how cute you are. Daily message time, May 14th. This is our mission to cast a ray of light and pass on. Maria Montessori. Peter is putting down James. It is getting difficult for me to do it physically. Peter's just so lovely. Um, so he's been doing it a lot lately and I'm very grateful. But I also really love that snuggle time with him. So um, we've also talked about like me putting him down and like Peter transferring him. But yeah, Peter also was like, could you just sign off? We never talked. If like, are we staying awake? Should I get like comfy on the couch and like make tea or something? Or are we going to bed? We didn't discuss. So who knows? I'm just gonna sign off. Um, we had a wonderful day. We hope you enjoyed the vlog and it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>